The heart is a muscular organ that's situated in the centre of the thoracic cavity, just left of centre. And it's split into the right side and the left side, one serving oxygenated blood and one serving deoxygenated blood. This serves throughout the whole body as it pumps blood around the entire network of our circulatory system. It transports both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, shown in this video as blue and red. It transports five quarts of blood every minute and 100,000 beats a day, which is 35 million beats per year. As the blood is pumping around, we'll start off in the right atrium and then it flows down into the right ventricle. From here, blood is pumped via the muscular wall into the pulmonary arteries where blood is transported to the lungs, converted into oxygenated blood and then transported back into the left atrium, left ventricle and then via one massive contraction squeezes out of the aorta and around the body to serve oxygenated blood around the entire body. There are little valves that will allow for this to happen and these are really important. You've got the tricuspid valve, the mitral valve, the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. And these open and close much like gates on a fence. And as these open and close, they contribute to what we hear as our heartbeat. So that heart beating is the valves opening and closing. We have two contraction phases, systole and diastole. Systole is where the heart is contracting and this happens at the point whereby the blood is squeezed out of the ventricles out into the arteries. Whereas diastole is where the heart is relaxing and at this point the, the atria drop the blood into the ventricles. So it's a continual cycle between systole and diastole and this creates the blood flow. So systole is the contraction, diastole is the relaxation phase. On top of this, the, blood, the heart itself has its own network of blood and this is the coronary arteries that you can see on the image at the moment. And these coronary arteries are responsible for feeding oxygenated blood into the heart itself so that we can actually contract the heart. There are also electrical field and this electrical part of the blood is, of the heart is responsible for allowing that contraction to happen and it's the signal that says contract and keeps the pace. It's like our very own electronic pacemaker. All of these parts combined allow our heart to contract and relax and pump blood around our body so that it can do its main function day in, day out.